in India. We are following a holistic and inclusive approach. We are expanding health infrastructure, promoting traditional system of medicine, and providing affordable health care to all. The global celebration of the International Day of Yoga is testament to the universal desire for holistic health. This year, 2023, is being marked as International Year of Millets. Millets or Sri Anna, as they are known in India, have several health benefits. We believe that holistic health and wellness can help enhance everyone's resilience. The establishment of WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine in Jamnagar, Gujarat, is an important step in this direction. And the holding of WHO Global Summit on traditional medicine along with G20 health ministers meeting will intensify efforts to harness its potential. It should be our joint effort to build a global repository for traditional medicine. Health and the environment are organically linked, clean air, safe drinking water, sufficient nutrition, and secure shelter are major factors of health. I congratulate you for the steps taken towards the launch of the climate and health initiative. The steps taken to address the threat of antimicrobial resistance are also commandable. AMR is a grave risk to global public health and all pharmaceutical advancement so far. I am also glad that the G20 Health Working Group has prioritized One Health, our vision of One Earth, One Health, envisages good health for the entire ecosystem for humans, animals, plants, and the environment. This integrated view carries Gandhiji's message of not leaving anybody behind. Friends, public participation is a key factor in the success of health initiatives. It was one of the main reasons for the success of our leprosy eradication campaign. Our ambitious program on TB elimination also encourages public participation. We have called upon the people of the country to become Nikshay Mitra or Friends for Eradication of TB. Under this, nearly 1 million patients have been adopted by citizens. Now, we are on our way to achieve TB elimination well ahead of the global target of 2030. 